Hi folks, ain't those some little cuties? I got myself a bunch of kumquats. What are kumquats? Hmm. Well, they are like a type of citrus, however, the scientists disagree if they are really a citrus or not. For a long time they were even placed in a separate genus, Fortunella. Now it looks like the more modern papers place them in the same genus as citrus. Yeah, they call them a citrus nowadays. But they are like a citrus apart from most other citrus fruit. Yeah. Well, like a lot of useful things which have been cultivated for a very long time, nobody really knows where they come from. Some say China, some say South Asia, some say Southeast Asia. Were first recorded in China about 800 years ago. So, yeah. Well, for me it's not so important where they come from. For me it's more important what they taste like. And here the kumquat is very special, because unlike almost all other citrus fruit, the skin, the rind, and also the white pit are edible, and also not very unpleasant. So let's try one of those kumquats. <laughs> yeah. You get two different, quite distinct tastes from a kumquat. Or basically, you have two different, quite distinct zones in a kumquat. Well, the juicy flesh on the inside is sour. But the rind and the white pit, they are sweet. So basically, you get an explosion of yeah, juicy sourness and at the same time a lot of, uh, what shall I say, creamy sweetness. Well, it's definitely sweetness, but hmm. some fruity citrusy sweetness. Yeah, you get the juicy sourness. <clears throat> and the fruity sweetness with the tanginess and astringency typical for the rind of citrus fruit but so weak and so well balanced with the sweetness and the sourness that it's actually pleasant I mean if you bite into the rind of a lemon or an orange it will this astringency will be so strong that it's unpleasant for most people and there will be a bitterness mixed in it. But in the kumquat, the rind tastes mostly sweet, with a little bit of citrusy astringency, just enough to make the taste even more pleasant. Wow, I like those things. As a child, I was eating them a lot. Why am I not buying them every day? Hmm. One thing I don't like about kumquat are the many seeds. But otherwise, it's really quite a perfect little thing. There is the exact, the exactly perfect amount of sour juice, exactly perfect amount of sweet rind around it, the exactly perfect amount of citrus tanginess or astringency to make a perfect mixture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like those little fruit which you don't need to <coughs> peel and clean and process before you can eat them. Well, you can spit out some of the bigger seeds. And here, the good properties of the kumquats don't end. Well, of course, it's healthy like all citrus fruit, especially, well, I <laughs> actually only if you get one which hasn't been treated with chemicals. I bought them from a 
organic shop, but I still wash them after <coughs> I bought them. One very important property of the kumquat is it's quite frost tolerant, up to minus 12 degrees. So I talk to people who are cultivating it in southern France or northern Italy. Well, here in Germany, I would still cultivate it in a pot because every couple of years we get winters down to minus 15 degrees, where even a lot of the wine yards and less frost hardy fruit trees uh, freeze back. So I wouldn't risk planting it outdoors in Germany, but having it in a in a big pot and keeping it in an unheated uh, indoor location in winter should be definitely enough in Germany. Well, it needs quite hot and dry summers to produce good fruit, but yeah. For that, they are really sweet. If the skin wasn't edible, the inside wouldn't be anything special. But with this edible skin, they are just divine. Mm. Okay, folks. I'll finish this video so that I can finish my kumquats. Stay tuned for more fruit videos from the shops and supermarkets of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.